Welcome back to our discussions on social exchange theory. And in order to conclude this series, we will spend a few moments examining the educational implications of social exchange theory. And we will proceed to re recall what social exchange theory really formulates. For social exchange theory formulates the idea that human behavior is aimed at maximizing social gains. Remind you of this diagram where a male, female, making a rational decision in which they are weighing the benefits against the cost. If the benefits outweigh the cost, it's a good decision. If the cost outweigh the benefits, then it's probably not a good decision. And I want to remind you that humans are, in fact, engaged in the pursuit of social profit. In other words, they want the benefits to outweigh the cost so that they make a profit in the exchange. Now, the educational implications of social exchange theory provide insights into making instructional practices more effective. Now, again, no theory explains everything. Most theories explain some things. There are some very good points in social exchange theory. There are some weaknesses in social exchange theory. I won't go into them now. But certainly, we can examine our educational practices to make them more effective by understanding social exchange theory and guiding us to examine what our students are doing. Uh, consider the following four important educational implications. First of all, people need to understand the benefit of what they're asked to learn. Uh, those of you who have studied andragogy under Malcolm Knowles uh, will recognize that statement right out of the concepts of andragogy. Adults won't understand the benefit. Adults are busy. Adults have a lot going on. Adults need to know why they're at being asked to learn certain things. Well, I would extend that to young people as well. People, young, old, middle-aged, e everything in between need to understand the benefit of what they're asked to learn. Certainly those who are older may need to understand more benefits from what they're being asked to learn than those who are younger. These benefits may be social, economical, psychological, or even a host of other areas, but they need to understand the benefits. Understanding of the benefits is a powerful tool for promoting buy-in, and buy-in, of course, is a powerful tool for motivating learning to occur. The benefits of learning must outweigh the required cost of learning. That comes right back to that equation of looking for a profit. The benefits must outweigh the cost. Educational profit is preferred over educational indebtedness. In other words, the benefits need to be greater than the cost, and that's to be preferred than, over the cost being greater than the benefits. Many will want to learn once the benefit is perceived, and it is perceived that the benefit outweighs the cost. Consistency is a critical, critical aspect of the learning environment. Oh, you will recall from earlier lectures that learners have an innate sense of expectation and fairness. In other words, the learner expects certain uh, benefits from a specific action. And when those benefits are not delivered, then uh, the, the learner perceives the situation to be unfair and aggressive behavior may occur. Uh, we have a little picture here, where's mine? Uh, take a couple of kids out shopping sometime and buy one kid something and not get it for the other one and see what goes on. Might be very interesting. Now, another important educational consideration is that you always deliver what is promised. If you promise it and, and the behavior is done, carry through on the promise. If possible, deliver a little beyond what was promised. That always seems to bring about approval and delight. And failure to deliver what is promised sends mixed signals and generates aggressive behavior. Uh, you didn't carry through. You didn't provide the benefit that I expected. Therefore, my behavior is very likely to become aggressive. Consistency is key in the educational environment. Understand the rules, understand the rewards, understand the cost for certain behavior, minister it consistently, and you will build a much more powerful educational environment. Uh, I, in regard to the cost, I, I, I sometimes quote the hanging judge in Fort Smith, Arkansas, Judge Smith, who said it's not the certainty, uh, it's not the severity of the punishment, but the certainty of it that deters crime. Well, uh, I think he was the hanging judge and he intended to hang him, but you know, if you're going 
to reward good behavior, do it consistently. Stay on it. Carry through. Do what you promise to do. Always deliver what is promised. Uh, mixed signals are very difficult to follow. And mixed signals promote confusion rather than learning. I want to share with you this sign. Suppose you come up to this intersection. This is actually on a military base. Uh, my son-in-law took it for me. He enjoyed it. But, but look at these two signs right here. Stop, keep moving, side by side. Suppose you pull up here and the, and the, the uh, base uh, police are sitting right there beside that. What are you going to do? You're going to stop or you're going to keep moving? You're going to keep moving or are you going to stop? Uh, mixed signals and, and inconsistent behavior, not providing what is promised. All do nothing but promote confusion rather than enhance learning. Uh, friends, the educational uh, benefits of social exchange theory are very profound. Social exchange theory formulates the idea again that human behavior is, is aimed at maximizing social gain. If you understand that this little calculator is going on in the brain, this little decision-making process is occurring in a rational fashion, weighing benefits against costs, then you can develop a learning environment which effectively utilizes this most basic of human pursuits. Uh, again, in closing, I want to thank you very much for your patronage. I hope that you've enjoyed this series of uh, lessons on social exchange theory, tried to develop in an organized fashion, flow through social exchange theory to let you understand the dynamics of what Holman's presented. It is indeed a very profound theory with many, many, many educational implications. In the words of the old Vulcan uh, dismissal, live long and prosper, and again, if you meet Vulcans, peace and long life. You have a blessed day.